Wandering Winder here with another game of Dominion. Um, we notice that the only village here is Mastermind. Um, that's something. There's Inheritance, but there's nothing really great to inherit, I don't think. Um, this can play Masterminds, right? Okay. Cemetery is the only thinning. Liveries can maybe help you draw. They're good with Mastermind. I think Wharfs tend to be better. I definitely want to open Silver here. Question is, do I go a Mastermind on turn two, or do I get something else? Uh, and when I say Mastermind, I mean Overlord, which I'm probably not playing as a Mastermind. I mean, Dominate, I think you want to build a lot, so I'm pretty inclined to get the Overlord. I could get another one here. How much money is left in this shuffle? Four. So if I pay one in here, three. I think that seems good. This is a, this is not a while this is in play. Okay, I'm gonna get another one of these though. And we're gonna go with a wharf on this overlord. I would like to get a some good cemetery trashes at some point, but it's not a big priority for me. It would be really, really good if I can get a cemetery on this turn. Trashing three estates would be excellent. Doesn't happen. Um, gosh, what do I have in my next turn? Silver, three coppers, and an overlord? I think I'm just not getting another one and, and wharfing here. Okay, so next turn should be pretty decent. Um, pretty decent chance to trash. Take a livery now. I'm not real sure about that. Oh, there's also a ghost as a as a potential thing. And we're gonna take one here. This is the trash we're looking for. I don't know if it's the trash we deserve. Um, but I'm pretty happy about this. Gonna wanna start getting masterminds for sure. Okay, so this is gonna hit either livery or Ma or overlord. Let's take a mastermind here. So this could be Mastermind here. Um, there's one more Overlord down there. So there's some chance that that would fail horribly. Oh, there's also a Mastermind. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Get another Cemetery to thin down. Get some horses going. Now there's a question about what I'm triple playing here. I think it's... Could be the Overlord as... Livery three times. Oh no, no, it's the Overlord as Ranger, Ranger, and Livery, I think. Probably. Yeah, yeah, that seems better. The last card is the ghost. Yeah, I do wanna be able to ghost something here. So if I play Mastermind now, five, 
I mean, I could get a cemetery and clear out all the rest of my junk. Or I could get like two things. Could be two rangers. I think I like getting rid of the rest of my junk though. I could also take an overlord here. I don't think so though. So we're going to triple play, I mean, we're double playing horse here. We're going to play a lot of liveries and then some plus buy card. Probably a wharf. Um, a treasure trove wouldn't be a bad thing to get soon. It works pretty well with livery, and I'm thin enough in it. It's a good way to up the econ. So this is going to be another livery, I think. I just, I'd like to have a lot of horses. Uh, oh no, it's got to be a mastermind. Because I need to have, I want to have one of those in play. And then this is going to be, what, plus buy card? Probably the ranger. I don't really need tons in terms of draw. We'll leave that. We want to get a trove. Comes with a bunch of horses. And I think more masterminds. So this mastermind can be played on horses here. I don't think the points from Monument are likely to be too important. I do need to keep in mind I'm going to need to play my other Overlord as a plus buy card again here. probably want to look at taking like Wharf and Mastermind at this turn. And I should be pretty explosive um, coming up. Just want to get more Wharves and Masterminds basically. Make sure I have enough horses but I don't need a ton of them. You're still thinning. I think I am going to be an action short of doing everything I want here. Everything I want being playing a wharf or a ranger playing two masterminds and playing a, no I can do exactly all that playing the livery I am only gonna get one livery played so I'm gonna bleed some horses this turn but I should be okay to do all that I want here And hmm. 
I guess I don't have as much econ here because of the way this turn worked out. Uh, I think I still want the wharf. Probably another overlord. We're going to want to play a ton of liveries this turn if possible. That's going to give us the money we want. Um, we're a bit unbalanced though, because next turn we're not going to have so many masterminds played. So next turn could be a bit of a bummer. Well, we'll see where it goes. This is 12 money for you. That is kind of a lot. Two golds. Okay. Let's do this first, this next. Okay. So we want to. This is livery, 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 and this is mastermind, mastermind, mastermind. Now, I think I still want to build a little bit here. Wharf, Mastermind, and a four. A four could be Island, maybe. Could be Monument. Do I need another Wharf? Let's take a Wharf. Could be a ranger. I don't need that much draw though. Let's take Let's just take a ranger for reliability. Not that reliability is going to be that big of an issue, but... Oh, this Overlord only stays out one time? None of the other stuff stays out? The, the Mastermind that played it three times? That surprises me. Okay, over the next two turns... I'm going to be scoring tons of points and potentially getting close to ending the game. Remaining in your hand, you have this overlord, okay. You have a few silvers, a cemetery, Two, three silvers, two golds, it's five cards, a cemetery, and I think still some horses. Okay, you're just dominating, sure. I should be scoring here very soon now. I don't have much time to do much else. Okay, we need the plus actions. That's why we're going to do it this way. Now, again, I think we need the plus actions, so I'm going to 
play another one on horses, but now it's going to be liveries. Play the wharf normal. We can draw with all these horses. We have a million of them. And we're going to get a million back. Okay, so now 15, 17, 19, 21 money. Um, so this is going to be like 27 if I take, if I play these with livery here. Play even another one as Mastermind, potentially. Eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-seven is short, okay. Or I could go like, yeah could just island away the cemetery. Dominate. Take another livery and another wharf, I think. I guess I have to keep in mind all the mastermind stuff, but pretty sure I'm not losing this turn. And that should put me in good position to win, I think, on my turn, or effectively win potentially. I could like triple dominate, or I might be able to take the rest of the provinces, however many that is. One by. Kind of rough, huh? Okay, let's do the war first. The ghost next. Okay, so we want to. Let's just play wharf three times. Let's play, we're going to have to play a horse three times. Play a livery three times. That gets us a bunch of money. I'm going to play this wharf. Okay, so this is 21, 23. plus 5 is 28, plus 9 is 37. That's not enough to get that many provinces. Okay, I have 7 buys at the moment. I don't think I can get enough buys to pile out. Okay, so we want to score a lot of points then. I've kind of misplayed this, haven't I? I'm going to have infinite horses next turn still. So the question is just how much can you do? 14, you have, you have enough money to triple province maybe? This is 12, 14, 
23. I mean, you can maybe triple province, so I don't want to touch more than one. Okay, that's fine. Um, so we just go mastermind. Mastermind. Monument. Okay, now we can go Duchy, 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 Overlord. Take a monument instead of one of the overlords or one of the duchies. Okay, I think I'm okay now. Oh, this is all your turn is? Okay, grand. I think I'm on track to Quad Province. Well, triple shouldn't be hard at all. Um, livery, livery, livery. So, I mean, this should be plenty of money to triple province, right? This is 21, 23, 25, 29. Yeah, that's plenty. So let's just score as much as we can here. Or get it, make as much money as we can so I don't have to worry about being too exact. And this would be enough to have... Okay, I'm um, sure. Uh, yeah, I like thinning down faster, not taking the monument, taking the over early overlords. Maybe played the middle a little bit imprecisely. The ranger never really did that much for me. Getting into groove with my mastermind balance and stuff, I, I probably could have thought through better. Uh, the treasure trove is the way to ramp up the economy seemed pretty good, although mastermind livery stuff also. The horse pile is going to run out at some point, and having a ton of horses on top of your deck vis-a-vis -vis mastermind and ghost, because you have to play those throning effects at the beginning or end of your turn, um, is potentially could be something tricky and maybe would be something that I should have thought through a lot more. I think I was just so far ahead that not thinking through stuff, I was totally fine, but potentially what I did was quite bad in some situations. If, if the game would have been much closer, then it would have been a little bit more precise on, do we need to dominate now? How, you know, how are we greening? Because there's dominate versus multi-province stuff going on, balancing the, the thrones and the durations and all of that. Um, yeah, anyway. Thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll catch you again another time soon.